Yeah, the Pistons just lost. Um, what was it? They lost, I think, 98 to 89. They lost to the Mavericks, man. This game, <laughs> it was like the, the Pistons. It, it was a really disappointing game because I thought this team was going to win. At least come back and win the game, but they didn't this time. It wasn't enough what they put on the court. Um, what can I say? Marcus Morris, he, he kept us in the game. He, he was knocking down his shots, you know. He scored 16 points in the first half. He was knocking down the shots, though. So you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, 16, yeah, 16 points in the first half. He he played pretty well. But um, KCP played pretty good, too. He was playing pretty good defense, but for the most part. Um, Drummond, he was getting on boards. Jackson really didn't have a good game once again. In my opinion, he had he had a couple shots in late in the game, but realistically, he ain't have a good game. <sighs> now, the Mavericks, we had no answer for this team whatsoever. They just kept they kept hitting threes. They kept letting JJ Barea just hit threes left and right. They kept letting Wesley Matthews hit threes left and right. They kept let, leaving shooters wide open. It was it was a tragic. It, during the whiskey was hitting tough shots. It was just, it just wasn't meant to be today. It just wasn't. Shoot. They let J.J. Barea clown us, though. J.J. Barea, the little stubby point guard. A guy, a guy that <laughs> looked like motherfucking the Bad Boys um, boss and shit off of, you know, the Bad Boys movie. He looked like that motherfucker. But, yeah, like, you let him just come up in here and just, rapists and shit like come on now pistons man what the fuck what the fuck reggie jackson played no defense he he was turning the ball over a lot he wasn't creating those jump shots and none of that shit steve blake he airballed a three he he wasn't really doing too much in this, in this game either um it was just a tragic man now they was trying to do this hacker dre bullshit especially in the fourth quarter but they took out they took out Andre Drummond because you know they put in binds because you know that he can't shoot free throws. So, but the it's a good it's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is Aaron Bynes can hit free throws. The bad thing is you don't got that you don't got the enforcer in the inside. You don't got that rebounder. See Bynes, he's not a great rebounder. He's not a great rebounder. Um, Drummond is Drummond. He can rebound. With the best of them. So, he's probably one of the best rebounders, if not the best rebounder in the NBA. Especially offensively. Offensive rebounder. That dude's a monster. You didn't have that precedence on the inside. That's what it was lacking. And no, and Drummond could have came in handy during late in the game. The game wouldn't have got out of hand if he was in the game, believe it or not. Because we needed them key rebounds and we didn't get them. Another thing. <clears throat> Our defense tried to do something, but they didn't do enough. They was missing too many shots. But the the number thing, the number one thing that killed us was the free throw shooting. The free throw shooting was pretty poor in this game. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. That that was one of the reasons why we was losing the way we was. We couldn't hit the free throws. We couldn't create no. We couldn't really get no momentum. I think one time we had a 24 um, run, but that, after that we didn't do anything. So. We never could ever. We can never take over the lead. It was just a bad. It was just bad, like for real. The bench didn't do anything too much. Um, what can I say? I mean, shoot, <laughs> that's what happened in the game. Reggie Jackson, Tobias, Tobias Harris kind of cost us the game a little bit because he, he, um, he he got a turnover in the fourth quarter. It was late in the fourth quarter. He got ill. I know it was like. Two minutes, it was like three minutes left in the fourth quarter, but it was a key turnover. That was the extra possession we could have had, and it, it that completely fucked up our momentum. So, man, pisses, man. Coming into the next game, you got to come out and fight harder, man. That's that's why I got to say. You got to play better defense. You can't be letting fucking players like J.J. Perea and Wesley Matthews just come up and just light our ass up and shit. Dirk, I ain't going to say too much about Dirk. Dirk going to... Dirk gonna get his. I'm not gonna say nothing about Dirk too much. 
<laughs> Dirk Nowitzki going to get his, okay? I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the other motherfuckers clowning our ass, and that's what happened. But, yeah, man. Next game, pisses. Step your shit up. Be ready to fucking play. Play with some fucking heart. Play all four quarters. And that's all I got to say. Peace out.